track 03, Papa Charlie, Papa. Papa Charlie, Papa, what's going on up that way? Papa Charlie, Papa, what's going on up that way? Yeah, good afternoon, Jim. It's uh, Rob here in uh, Inverhuren, uh, Tiverton, Ontario, just north of Kincardine. And uh, operating my remote station again today, I've done some uh, work on it and uh, uh, found the um, equalizer on uh, Windows 10 and uh, did some adjustments. So I just want to uh, to see how it's sounding and see if it's working okay. Uh, KC9VKV, the Tracy CP. Yes, sir, Rob. I can hear some... Uh some uh, syllabic noise in there before it was just uh, there was no top end uh, for articulation at all and now uh, gosh i can i can hear a little bit back in there enough to uh, uh, say you know uh, you've been working on it. enough to uh, say you know uh, you've been working on it. yeah okay well the um, the equalizer uh, has, has a uh has a setting that you can use to enhance uh, audio frequency, so I took that as a start, and then I uh, added uh, some more top end, so I'm hoping to uh, get a little bit more uh, sparkle back in my voice. I'm not running the amplifier today. I'm just running uh, running the rig out there for TSL. Roger, Roger. Now, things probably will get interesting when you start adding uh, power uh, to it. Uh, <laughs> reminds me of... Uh, uh, I was uh, using a, a phone patch and I spent about two or three days uh, working on this phone patch to get it just perfect. And uh, so then I turned on the amp and all of a sudden <laughs> there was so much uh, AF in the RF it was uh, pathetic. And to talk about uh, feeling dejected, it was, it was terrible. To talk about uh, feeling dejected, it was, it was terrible. I do have the amplifier warmed up here. Um, what I found, though, is that it, it tends to get a little bit harsh. Uh, I think I'm running it a little bit uh, high on my audio uh, levels here on the uh, on the rig. So uh, it's, because there's a bit of a delay between uh, what I'm what I'm speaking and what I'm seeing on the uh, ALC meter on the radio, this, uh, it's. Uh, you can't really, it's, it's just a little odd to watch it, that's all. But uh, anyway, the ALC seems to be okay, so <clears throat> next go around, I'll turn the amplifier on. I won't make any adjustments to the radio, but I, I think you'll find it, uh, the amp's going to be a little bit overdriven, TSL. Roger, now your, uh, your dynamic range is right at 3 dB now, so uh, I think you have perfect uh, audio level uh, at the moment so uh, I will keep our fingers crossed uh, as you uh, turn on the uh, the amp this time fingers crossed uh, as you uh, turn on the uh, the amp this time okay very good now uh, the amplifier is on so uh, hopefully uh, not seeing uh, too much harshness there but uh, uh, it loads a little differently than the uh, than the antenna but uh, uh, you know uh, the uh, auto tuner in the uh, in the rig is uh, kind of uh, a bit automated uh, on its own without having to uh, suppress the uh, the, the uh, auto tune button, but uh, it has presets in it that uh, it sort of recognizes. So uh, anyway, so we'll turn back to uh, that's with the amplifier on, putting out uh, you know maybe turn one. one, 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 one two C nine B three Roger, Rob. It did uh, sound uh, just a little bit chopped up there, uh, just a little rough, uh, kind of like a, a AC ripple. Not really that you could hear the hum, but there was that uh, that kind of uh, distortion. So uh, definitely, you're getting uh, uh, AF uh, in your uh, uh, or RF in your AF, Roger. AF uh, in your uh, uh, RF in your AF, Roger. QSL. I've, I've had extra levels of shielding and so forth on the audio cables, and uh, uh, that seemed to. Uh, I listened to it uh, on my uh, another receiver here locally on a dummy load, and it sounded clean without the amplifier. But I did notice some harshness when I kicked the amplifier on. But that's okay. I don't need to use the amplifier. I'm I'm running five bands on uh, on it with a vertic five band vertical, and uh, running it remotely. It's an old amplifier. I can't tune it, so. I just had it set up, so I, I have the uh, the rig and the amplifier both set up on Wi-Fi enabled uh, receptacles, so I can power them on and off independently. So uh, I, I I don't uh, normally bother using the amplifier uh, only on 40 meters. That's what it's set up for. 
so I don't even need to use it to be uh, quite honest. But uh, otherwise, it seems to work okay. No, I'm not any processor, and it sounds like I really don't need to uh, at this point in time. A KC9 BKV V3 PCP. Roger, Roger, Rob. Well, you know, um, I don't know if you might be familiar with like the old uh, CB. Uh, um, a standing wave bridge, you know, that had a field strength meter built into it. Well, you can use that field strength meter, you know, even on up to 40 meters. Uh, I use one quite often when I'm looking to uh, track down RF hotspots, and they work great. So uh, w if you're wondering where the RF is coming, you know, I, my thought was, you know, when I was experiencing problems with uh, RF and the AF, I said, gosh, if I could just see the RF, I would know how to get rid of it. You know, if you can see it, if you can figure out where it is, then you can figure out how to get rid of it, you know. So then I, uh, you know, I started to thinking about this field strength meter and wondering if it would work at uh, 40 meters and bigger than heck, it worked just beautiful, you know. So uh, I just um, uh, put that uh, meter sensitivity at about mid scale and then uh, use that uh, antenna that you plug in for field strength to uh, about uh, maybe uh, a foot or so, or maybe less, maybe six inches, somewhere between there, whatever it took, you know, and I just started sniffing around, uh, looking for hotspots, RF hotspots, and mine was coming in on my uh, antenna uh, rotor cables for um, uh, UHF and VHF. Uh, I have uh, a... Um, a cable run, so to speak, uh, with the RF cables and uh, just everything in the same run in these uh, these um, remote um, antenna uh, rotator cables are not shielded, and they were right in there with the uh, with the other stuff, and consequently they were picking up quite a bit of uh, induced uh, RF uh, uh, into those uh, leads, and I, you know, temporarily had to uh, disconnect my rotors and and take those leads away. And um, all my uh, problems uh, disappeared. So, uh, and what I'm saying is, a field strength meter will let you will let you see the RF hotspots, Roger. The field strength meter will let you will let you see the RF hotspots, Roger. Yeah, QSL, all very good. Yeah, I'll have to uh, have to take a look at that. I think I, I do have one in in, in, uh, in in a box somewhere, so I'll have to take a look and see if I can find it. And uh, the, the ground mount vertical that I'm using is actually uh, basically uh, no, 80 feet from the house, and uh, uh, the P line actually runs along probably 20 feet before it uh, goes up and runs along the underside of the eave of a shed, and then uh, between a couple of trees, and then and then over to the house and uh, in through a couple of window openings. So um, I also have another a coax in my 80 meter uh, folded dipole that runs along uh, with it in, uh, in the same uh, hangar. So I don't know that it's uh, coming in through that, but uh, you never know. And uh, I, I don't have a um, I don't have a, a choke at the uh, feed point. Uh, when you're running five bands, it's pretty difficult to uh, to get a uh, a coax uh, to, to uh, to work properly on all those five bands, you almost need like three or four uh, chokes. And I guess I could add some ferret uh, uh, chokes as well. I might, uh, you know, uh, if there's any RF coming back on the that might help. But anyway, it's, it's, a, it's a process, and uh, sometimes a uh, project is uh, something you uh, kind of work out from time to time. Uh, we, we have a club here, and uh, it's a uh, club station, and uh, uh, in Canada, uh, generally speaking, you have to have an advanced certificate to operate a remote station, so that kind of limits it to, uh, you know, uh, a smaller group of people. But uh, anyway, so uh, it's, it's something we've been working on, so anyway, it seems to be working okay. Uh, I know the audio is different uh, when I'm using my uh, cell phone, and then it is when I'm sitting in the shack right now with a headset on, so I think the audio profile is probably better than I hear, but... Uh, Setting the, uh, the equalizer on uh, the Windows computer, it actually uh, will uh, also impact uh, whatever other device that I'm accessing the remote with, whether it's my cell phone or, or another computer or what have you. So it actually takes the audio from the control of the computer and the control of the computer. Uh, 
you too. Appreciate very much uh, much what you do, and uh, uh, thanks for being there uh, every uh, every week. Seven three for now, and uh, have a good, uh, great weekend. Uh, KC9 VK VE3 PCP. Roger, Roger, Rob, the last uh, of that transmission, you were 5 dB over the uh, Milford uh, SDR uh, noise level, so it's pretty pretty good signal there. And uh, like I say, uh, yeah, use that uh, field strength meter and uh, isolate those hot spots and try to figure out uh, how it's coming in and uh, see if you can uh, uh, reduce the, uh, the RF, uh, you know, around your... Um, uh, transceiver, that's the main thing, you know, uh, and try to uh, get that RF lowered down so you have uh, a little more uh, grace uh, before uh, the problem. And the, the other test is that uh, if you have um, a 10 dB additional gain over where you normally operate, the final test would be to be able to turn that 10 dB on up, and if you still are clean, uh, you you know you absolutely have no problem, uh, but uh, you know that's the test to do to do a plus ten over your normal operating level uh, and not have uh, RF uh, in the AF. Uh, that's that means that you really are uh, well above uh, marginal. So uh, 73 Rob, uh, thanks for checking in, buddy. And if you want to hear your audio, uh, as always, uh, go to YouTube and do a call letter search, KC9VKV, followed by today's date, 72321. Take you right to this recording. 73 Rob. 72321. Take you right to this recording. 73 Rob. Okay, Jim, you're good. Yeah, thanks very much. And uh, the first part of that last over, you were about 10 over 9, and then you dropped down to about uh, an S6, so lots of QSD on the banding. Uh, 7-3, and uh, uh, we'll talk again. Uh, KC9BKV, V3, PCP is clear. Roger, Roger, 73. This is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. <laughs>